afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. This is Miss Brianne, and welcome back to Book Talk Wednesdays with Miss Brianne. And this is the series where I provide brief talk, book talks on all the different graphic novels and easy readers that we here have to offer at the West Hampton Free Library in hopes that we encourage you to visit us here at the library in order to check out these amazing books for yourself. Now, today's book talk features the next two books in the graphic novel adaptation of a very popular early childhood, well not early, early grade, it's not really easy reader, but it's designed for kids in second grade and up. But the series is called Babysitter's Little Sister. Now these, these two books were based on the series by Anne M. Martin. So we have the next two books today that I'm going to be discussing today. We have Karen's Worst Day and Karen's Kitty Cat Club. And as I mentioned before, this focuses on Karen Brewer, who's the stepsister of Christy Thomas, who's the president of the Babysitter's Club. And though that's a series that's designed for our tween readers. But anyway, both Karen's Worst Day and Karen's Kitty Cat Club, the adapter and the, illust and the illustrator are Katie Farina. The colorist is Brayden Lamb. And the publisher is Graphics, which is an imprint of Scholastic Inc. All right, in Karen's Worst Day, Karen hasn't really been having good luck so ever since she broke her arm. She dropped her lunch and slipped during lunchtime in class, during school. She fell out of bed. She, the prize was missing in the cereal box. And the top, sometimes, and the top it all off. Her stepbrother gifts, gifts, gets gifts and she does it. Plus her favorite stuffed animal ripped. All this gets Karen very down and it feels like she is n never going to have a good day again. She'll never get her good luck back. But is that really the case or is Karen just having a bad day? And can she do something to make her day good again? Well, if you want to know what happens, read this book. All right. In the next, in the fourth book, Karen's Kitty Cat Club, Karen is very excited. Because she has a, because Karen has a cat and her fr good friend Amanda has a cat. But when her new friend ha Haney gets a cat as well. She, Karen's very excited that her two best friends all, all and her own all cats. And due to that, she wants to start a club just like her big stepsister Kit, Christy. And because they all have cats, she decides to form the Kitty Cat Club. And to have a club just like Christy's, she decides that they should offer cat sitting services. But Will their pet sitting, cat sitting business really go as well as they think? Well, you'll have to wait and see. As I mentioned in my previous review on the first two books, this is a great graphic novel series. It's good for those early elementary students who pretty much have gotten the hang of reading and are looking for something a bit more challenging, but something that they can relate to. And this is great, especially for girls anywhere between grades one through three. As, a, as in the previous two books, the action follows along very smoothly and it's very true to the actual novels in the series. And it's a great way to bring in readers from this generation to, in order to introduce them to those classic novels that maybe you read as a kid, parents. Or maybe your older children read when they were younger. But in any event, I give these two books five out of five stars. And I recommend it to those students in grades one through three who have gotten the hang of reading and are looking for something that they can relate to on their level. 
This is Miss Brienne. Thank you so much for joining me today. I will see you soon.